for an ulcerative colitis condition back in probably 30-some years ago, but I was on them for 10 years. I was told that the doctor was nuts to do this, you know, a quack to, to do it, but I was too young and stupid at the time, you know. Right, like we all were. <laughs> and uh, and uh, other doctors since have told me my adrenals were just shot and I have one atrophied kidney, and, you know, so I, I, what a difference this is making for me. Thank you so much. Yeah, that, now on your kidney, is that starting to function again? You know, um, this, it happened when I was 14, and um, a doctor checked, did some kind of a function test, and he said it was very minimally functioning uh, at the time. Otherwise, he would have removed it. And so it's, it's been limping along with almost no function, but just a little bit. And so I can't tell you for sure if it's functioning, but I can tell you my, let's say, just urine output um, quantity and quality is changing, you know, for the better. Right. So I guess my question here is um, I'm saving up money for a pendant projector. And, uh, projector, right. Yeah, and, uh, um, and uh, I, I, my understanding is that the stone in the pendant projector is supposed to match the stone in the receptor? or No, no, let me explain. The, the projector is a wave device, okay? Uh-huh. Uh, doesn't work on chakras at all like what the receptor does. The receptor works on chakras and endocrine glands. Now, obviously, uh, we've stimulated your, you know, the, the, the adrenals, and I'd like to get a testimonial for you for the FDA at some point, too. Uh, Absolutely. Because I'm working on a study for the FDA, yeah, to get a, a, a medical claim, and I need some testimonials. And I could, you, you could email at fredbellatpyridine.com. But anyway, when the adrenals start to work, the kidneys will start to work. Did you do any drugs when you were a kid, or were you okay? Did you drink alcohol at an early age or anything like that? No, were you, were no, you... I was... I grew up in an alcoholic household, and it turned me off forever. I, no, but you didn't what, do any what, alcohol. What did happen, though, was um, when I was 19, uh, 19 was when I was started on those corticosteroids, and it was, it was not only orally, it was topically, it was injected every which way I could get them, and I was getting it all that way all at once for almost 10 years. And then I had, I had a crisis where I just kept hemorrhaging through the, intest, the large intestine, and they did an ileostomy. They removed the entire lower bowel. Sounds like you had worms, parasites. Oh, really? Yeah. You have a classic case of parasites. Huh. Yeah. That's oh. what it sounds like to me. If you weren't doing drugs, were you no. exercising at all or were you too weak? Um, before that started, I was actually involved in karate classes, and this was very high-powered. Was, I went six days a week. I was just living and breathing it. How old were you that then? Um, that was 17, 18, and 19 years of age. And what were you eating then? A lot of fruit or uh, meat? Were you eating any pork or anything then? Um, no, not that I can recall. I did eat a lot of meat and potatoes and not a lot of veggies, that kind of thing. What Very kind of meat diet. were you eating? Was it cooked well? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because you're, you sound like, a, this sounds like a classic parasitical poisoning, which mm-hmm. does exactly things to your body that you describe, including wipe out your kidneys. Wow. Yeah, because what happens is these parasites... Uh, discharge toxins in the body. In those days, they didn't probably test for that. It, no. Even today, unless you've got a really smart uh, doctor, uh, people don't understand what parasites do, and there's many kinds of them, many uh-huh. kinds of them, and they're rampant. If you don't even wash your salad properly, you could get them now. Wow. Yeah, so what's happening, it sounds like to me, is that the receptor is probably destroying the damage that these worms did to you years ago. That's well, what it sounds like, and rejuvenating your body. And what happens is when you wear the receptor over a period of time, your DNA starts respiraling and it starts putting gene pairs back together. Mm-hmm. Because obviously for a long... So imagine you have worms, you know, parasites for... You know, when I talk about parasites, by the way, I'm talking about microbes here. Right. I'm not talking about something that's going to crawl across the counter. I'm talking about something that you almost have to have an electron microscope to see it. Mm-hmm. And what happens is... When, when, when these things do damage to your body over a period of time, your body genetically um, starts to uh, fall apart. It, 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 it doesn't go in, in a positive mode of, of, of growing and healing. It, it runs the immune system down, and, and, and kidneys go. I don't know what your liver tests look like, uh, but I would imagine that they were, your liver probably was marginal at some point. And the liver can take a heck of a lot of abuse, but um, it sounds like you're turning it all around now. At some oh, point, I would get a, um, I wouldn't recommend the Crystilla Dome, but I would get a Silver Power Dome and start wearing that, too. Now, are you what? taking our mineral formula? 
Um, well, actually, I'm taking something called concentrates, which is um, concentrated trace minerals. It's from seawater with the uh, bacteria and salt removed. And it's yeah, that seawater is not good. Um, it's radioactive. It's from the Great Salt Lake. Yeah, that's the yeah. worst. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you, get rid of that. I'm, um, I, you know, they, they used to do a demonstration at the health fairs on the minerals from the Great Salt Lake. They're dead minerals. The minerals we use come from a 2,000-year-old clay deposit up in Idaho that the Indians used, and the guy that discovered them um, uh, it was, was dying of arthritis when the Indians threw him in the water where this clay was. He got over the arthritis and lived to be like 80 years old. This was back in 1928. Hmm. So you need to get, you know, I, rec I would recommend that you get on our, um, our trace minerals. You know, okay. As soon as possible. Well, and, and, and then, and because what, what you're doing there, is you're repairing a lot of damage, probably genetic damage is what we're talking about here. And that's yes. the beauty of the receptor is because it will put those genes back in there that the parasitic, you know, evolution, you know, you can evolve two ways, through the way of a parasite or through the way of a healing, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So uh, this, the, the, you've obviously de-evolved, you know, in the parasitic realm, so you well, need to switch actually, that around. Actually, my maternal grandmother, uh, who I... Uh, have a lot in common with her head, um, actually had severe ulcerative colitis also and had to have intestinal surgery at one point herself. Yeah. So, yeah. That um, comes from parasites. Hmm. Well, uh, thank you very much for the information, and I, 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 want, um, I want to be really clear on uh, the uh, stone for the uh, small... Uh, the, excuse okay, me, let me explain the, projector, the projector but, stone. But I, right? I, have a, I have a question about it, though. I, I've been reading your books, and I do have a bit of a background on energy work and that kind of thing, and I work as a professional psychic and medium, um, so I've been doing this my whole life. I'm in my 50s. And my, my question, though, is I've been fairly successful over the years with manifesting just on my own. Right. Um, and, um, and then I started taking Ormus, and that really amped up everything. And, yeah, but, that, that's but, one trace mineral. Uh-huh. That's only one. And that's a, that's a high frequency. You need the lower frequencies, too, the vanadium, titanium, all of those. Well, actually, I've been doing a lot of the rhodium, which seems to be very grounding for me. Yeah, that is very grounding, yes. And um, so... Now, I, I guess uh, what I found, I guess I want to say and, and ask about, what I found is I seem to manifest very well when I do it from a very lighthearted, open-hearted, like heart chakra vibration. And, um, and I'm wondering if I would order a pendant with a stone that vibrates to that same frequency, um, if that part of my body... Um, I, I would go with a sapphire projector. Oh, yeah? But the yellow sapphire. I'll tell you why. The wave device. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, one of your wishes is going to be to heal yourself. I know that. Right. If we put you on a diamond, what happens is you've got to imagine a, a, a car with an accelerator pedal that goes zero to seven, seven being wide open, right? <laughs> yes. Okay. Wide open is white, okay? Now, if you're a race car driver, you want white, okay? But if you're one normal person, you're probably going to be a medium speed person, run the speed limits, you want yellow. Mm -hmm. If you just want to crawl along and not do much at all, you go to violet. So, so basically, I think yellow would probably work for you because it's going to take you into the world of the projector in a gradual way. Mm -hmm. and, and, and it's a different world, and you're still healing on one level, and when you start going off in the astral plane and the etheric plane with a projector and starting to see how wishes work and all that kind of stuff, um, it, it's, you're gonna, it's going to split you in half if you go too fast. <laughs> You follow what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Boy, do I. I think you've got enough experience with what my creations have been to understand that I'm not kidding. Yes. yes. I just I just gave George, uh, George Norrie from Coast Radio just got a complete projector system last week. And he had to go on Larry King last night, or he was going to set it up over the weekend now. <laughs> so you'll probably be hearing a lot of this stuff on Coast Radio as well. As, as well, you know what? I, I called in back. on Coast last night, and I asked him if he'd received his material from you yet. And, and he said, yeah, but, you know, I got this, like, red and green laser thing, and I have no idea what to do with it. Do you know what to do with it? Because I... <laughs> oh, you talked to him? <laughs> yeah, last night on the show. Oh, how, were you on Larry King? No, no, on his own. On Coast to Coast, they had call, uh, uh, open lines. Oh, good. How'd you get in? And um, oh, I actually I can get in whenever I want to. I don't know how it works, but like I said, I'm good at manifesting. <laughs> yeah, you are. You're going to be amazing with a projector. So what George say anyway? He didn't know about the lasers, huh? No, he he said it's this red, small red and green laser. I have no idea what to do with it. And I said, well, you use it with the desktop projector. And he said, well, I don't think I got that. 
Well, he better have it. But, you know, <laughs> when his when his producer called me, 